G'day there guys, Alpha here. Just an update on this um, tutorial, the wiring. I have a thought about it. I recorded last night uh, the other the other four parts of the tutorial and I've decided I missed a bit and I remember what that bit is. It's the reset line for um, number 8 when you press it out of turn. So if you press 8 first then that's going to cause a problem that won't reset anything. Um, I don't think it's a massive problem, it's just probably me being a little bit uh, of a perfectionist, but um, I'll just press the reset so it all goes back to normal. So what we need to do for both 8 and 3 is add a, a second line through here, um, that if we press 8 and this piston isn't extended, we need that to come out and into that block there. So now we're hopefully when I press 8, no that's not going to work is it? I will try it anyway. So now when I press 8, hopefully, I should put a button down here, let's just, this is 8 here I think. Eight. So if I just kill that bit of redstone, that'll send a signal. So you can see that that's actually causing more issues than it's worth. There, so I just need to rewire that a little bit. I think I probably need to... No, that can probably stay. That probably needs to change to a repeater. So that fixes that bit. But that doesn't allow us to hit the reset line. Um, so I need to keep going. I need to, if I put another repeater down in there, sorry about this, this is just all on the fly, um, then I can run a wire out from here, Oop, and I can actually probably run that straight up and onto the reset line. No I can't, because that cuts that wire. Oh, this is being problematic. Let's come out and around then. I probably should have come up this way because I wanted to reset behind that. Behind that. There we go. So now if I go back and place that redstone back down. That's all reset, right? So now if I press uh, number 8 in the wrong order, it will automatically reset the system. So if I... I can't really press 8 in the wrong order, can I? Um, but you'll see, hopefully if I can do this quick enough, if I press 8, it, it lights up the reset line. Um, now there is one problem, it doesn't actually flow back along here because of this this piston issue here. Um, the way around that is probably just to put the wire out and around there rather than through there like that. So if I just do that, that should avoid that piston issue and now hopefully it will reset both uh, the first and so press 8 at the wrong time and it, you can see it reset this null latch as well. Um, so that's what you need to do for both of them if you want them to be uh, to be resetting um, in between times. So there is a problem with this one. I'll probably have to do a bit of rewiring there. As you can see it, it pulls current from there. So that RS null latch and this piston are too close together for it to work here. I have done that little bit of rewiring so that I can demonstrate it properly. I ended up shifting this RS null latch one, one piece back there. So it used to be starting here like this. Um, so I shifted it back one and redid the reset line there and added in my incorrect reset through here. So it branches off. If this isn't extended, this wire picks up the, volt, the current, runs it through, under, around and back to this reset line here that I added for the last one. So now I can actually show you what happens. 
So if I press 4, because remember my code is 483, so if I press 4, that piston extends. But if I press 3, so if I press the wrong, the wrong order, right number, wrong order, you'll see that the whole system resets. Which, the reason I, I realised I needed this was if you pressed 4 and didn't press anything else, then you wouldn't get a, a one incorrect thing happening up through here. Um, so it, it wouldn't register that you'd actually pressed enter. So now unless you get the code right, this is always reset. That's why we needed to do that. So I'll just give you give you a rundown on that again. So if we press 4, so our, four, our three numbers are 4, 8 and 3. Now if we pressed 8 or 3, it wouldn't matter because 4 isn't extended so nothing is going to change. Um, but if I press 4 first, then both this piston and this piston extend and then if I pressed some other numbers, so if I pressed 3 this would stay extended and then if I pressed enter it wouldn't register. So now if I press 3 and then enter it will register that I've had one go and it has been incorrect. So it's interesting. I don't know what happened there, I'll have to have a look at that. Maybe I didn't reset it properly last time. There we go. So <laughs> let's just try that again. So I press 4. The pistons extend. I press one of the correct numbers, but not in the right order. I press 3. That brings the pistons back. And then I press Enter. And I get one, one strike against my name. That's pretty much it. I hope that explains clearly um, the bit that I missed. Uh, and yet again, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, catch you next time.